Well, Nikki, we've had uh, turmoil today at Acer, the Taiwanese uh, computer manufacturer. It's had a lot of problems in recent years. The shares down about 80% over the past three years. Today, both the incoming chief executive and the outgoing chief executive have both resigned at once, uh, leaving a gap at the top. Who's coming in to fill it? Its founder, um, Stan Shi, who, who founded the company, is coming back to chair it um, nine years after he retired. Uh, which is an interesting development. Um, that's quite a long time to have been out of the company, and its problems are really more recent than that. I mean, they, they've really been over the past three years. It, it was once the world's largest um, maker of notebooks, I think, um, having swallowed Gateway and, and various other companies. Um, and But it's been wrong-footed by the switch to uh, tablets and the general sort of... Um, slow down in, in consumer spending on computers. Well, quite unusual for a founder to come back, but, but not unique by, it, by any means. How does it usually pan out when founders return? Well, it seems to be a bit of a growing trend. Um, you know, there's some famous examples, Steve Jobs at Apple and Howard Schultz at um, Starbucks are perhaps the two best known. Um, and I think the track record is, is generally quite good. It, what it tends to do is to put focus back on the customers and the product. Um, that was certainly in, in those two cases you can sort of see how that worked out. Um, I think the more difficult issue comes when you have um, a company which in the interim has seen very different market conditions. I mean it is essentially Starbucks is still in the same business it was always in. Uh, where you've had real structural changes in an industry um, it's possibly a little more difficult for the, for the original founder to but, but the, to, but there are plenty of people who are trying to do it. Well, I guess it's the, the nub of the issue, isn't it? That founders are perhaps entrepreneurs who know how to build things up from scratch, not people who know how to turn companies around when, when they've hit problems. So it's, it's a completely different set of challenges, isn't it? Yes, um, though there is a sort of whole second class of former founders who have bought companies out of um, distressed or difficult situations. I mean, Michael Dell, quite often they've taken them private. I mean, Michael Dell is, is one example, uh, Dell Computers, um, the founders, the co-founders of Bebo, the social networking site, um, took it and bought it essentially out of Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Um, so for some reason, I suppose founders are very attached to the businesses they've built up and sort of think they can do it a second time. Well, uh, Mr. Shi at Acer hasn't gone quite that far yet to, to, to buy the company back himself, but uh, no doubt what he'll be hoping to do is, is something similar to the, uh, to the job that Steve Jobs did at Apple, revitalising the company. Nikki, thank you very much.